Hello and welcome to my channel. And yes, I'm back. No, I'm not a Batman. I'm just a nerdy guy that loves microcontrollers and games. In this video I will show you how to make this uh, duck hunt game. Most of my projects are Arduino based, but now I'm using this guy. This is ESP E12 module. It is much faster and it have more memory that, than uh, microcontrollers on Arduino Uno or Nano. So it can display these animations very good. Same module is uh, used on a uh, Node MCU, so you can build this game with Node MCU also. ESP module can be programmed with Arduino, but it is a little uh, tricky and unstable. Uh, so I recommend this board for programming it. I will post a link in the description so you can check. But before we start, uh, I would like to invite you to join and to subscribe to this channel. I have many interesting projects on this channel, feel free to check them out. If you like some of videos, feel free to subscribe, it will make me very happy. In this game I need to kill ducks. Smaller ducks will give more points and they move very much faster. I can even shoot this truck, but it will not give me lots of points. After 60 seconds game is over and I can check my score and play game again. For making this on breadboard, breadboard we will need a node MCU, OLED display and 5 push buttons. Also for each push button we will need pull down resistor. So one side of each button needs to be to connected to VCC to positive voltage other side needs to be connected to ground through 10k resistor and same side needs to be connected to node MCU this is fire button and it is connected to D7 pin D8 pin is used for up button, D0 pin is used for left, D6 pin is used for right and D5 is used for down. Next we need to connect all the display it is usual uh, I square C all the display I will post link in the description a serial clock needs to be connected to D1 serial data to D2 and ground and VCC to ground and VCC now we need a library Check links in the description, I will post a library for this game. This game will not work with usual Adafruit library. And last step is to download and upload code to your M node MCU. Link for code is in the description. Feel free to use and modify code. That's it. Thank you for your time. I hope that you liked this video. Please subscribe for more interesting projects. Have a nice day. Goodbye.
Today I'm going to show you my new 